You three, scurry. Lady Athelswith, I see Burgret has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Aver? Noble. Selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. Effective, Sigurd. She is only naive to her present danger, but she will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. She is a decoy. Bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retake in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, you will find them.
surrounded someone. Must be careful. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run. Feel great. Alice, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. I'm hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feet. I am. hate thee. I'm hardly yes. standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, get ready to recover. Ava and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp. And as I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. He's a serious man, Galen. Yes, and a man of the gods. He carries them around in his mind as a tree bears its branches. It makes his mind heavy, but it keeps us... <laughs> it makes his mind heavy, but it keeps our spirits light, knowing the gods give us favor. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. sweeping the hearth outside? We handle it just fine. They can go starting a new tower, in fact. This house being our first. Birna, I pitched a camp nearby, under a burning beacon. We'll meet you there when I've found the others. Thank you, Soma. And you as well, Sam. We'll head to the camp now. I'll have everyone singing songs and dancing jigs by the time you get back. Yay! 
I need your eyes, my friend. Thor lends me strength. Fiona and Garland, like ice and fire, I'd imagine. <laughs> That's well spotted, yes. I like to see variety in the company I keep. They don't always get along, but they respect. <laughs> Danes held captive. Show me. safe at the camp with them. about Leif. Did he write this about himself? The 
beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow, our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna, and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any Tempest. It's good to be back, Soma. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours, for Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night, gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grandbridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Garland, is that right? That's right. And you are Eivor, the infinite fighter, or forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. Then the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Eivor. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. I thought we'd be safe in the fort, but Wigman's men hunted us. Pierced my boy through his heart. He hadn't seen his 16th summer. We'll make him pay the blood debt. Him and all his Saxon allies. You're Vienna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush, losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It's good to have you in this fight, Vienna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. 
We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me, and for Soma's loyalty. We fight for her. each side of the door. Move when you get a signal and not a moment before. Wakeman must know we're here. As he should. I will reason with him, he will reject my offer of peace, and our conversation will have a surprise ending. Bridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha! <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time! Quit Grantbridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grantbridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear! The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. No! Thanes of Grandebridgeshire! We take what is yours! No time for that. We must free her first. Thank <laughs> you. 
Silva! Wigmund! You cannot hide from me forever! Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone! <laughs> sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turn the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating a morning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I've heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me. And the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. 
I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift, for retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Let's see your silver. What's a drinking game without a prize? A uh, feet? I have an iron stomach and a powerful thirst. Soma, to understand your people well, I should better know you. How did you rise to the rank of Yalskona? My king Guthrum led the summer army through this land. When he marched into Wessex, I volunteered to defend the city. To encourage trade, so that our forces would be rich and strong if called upon. Guthrum agreed. So I grew the city up from very little, and I fell in love with her. It was a dagger to the heart to lose it, and a balm to have it back. If I can find your traitor, what will you do with them? They will die by my hand. No pain, no public humiliation. A traitor or no, the bastard is also one of my closest people. My friend. My family. Only I will bear the burden of causing their death. It will not muddy the minds of any other. That is enough. Why do you love Grandbridge so deeply? I was orphaned young, but old enough to remember it. I feel I've been reaching for a family all my life. Grandbridge is more than some silver boom. She's a place for me to build that family. For anyone who needs one. Wanderers, smugglers, and craftsmen alike. That's all. Good luck, Eivor. Thank you for doing this. This tunnel leads to the longhouse. The traitor marked it with a yellow cross, then opened the way and let them in. The traitor must have exited here with a few more, heading away towards the riverbank. Away from my 
Dane! Cursed, horrible rats! Tough lands, old man? Those rats. I tried everything. I poured lye, I harvested locusts, I hired children to kill them. I need an army of miracles. They are pesky, and have ravaged your good crop. No, the gods can't get at rats. Ha! You heathens and your gods! All I want is to rid my field of rats. Feed the fair folk of the Shire. You need natural warriors to keep them at bay. My poor fields. God, why did you send so much vermin? Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here. Then they sailed off, with allies to help crew the vessel. came creeping. He tore a man in two. Then Woden took nine glory twigs. Is this a prayer, an offering, or a final vestige of your oath? 
Only a charm I never finished. Between Jay Golas and I, a man that disgusting. The house will be clean again. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Hi, child. Your home is cursed with shit. I wish I could laugh, but I cannot. Yes, that rank odor is from the devil. The devil who produced me with this prick. Oh, that smell. He dips his arrows in cow dung and never washes. <clears throat> Says it brings him luck. We're doomed to choke in father's shit house. The cow dung he keeps is in those crates. <clears throat> it has mutated into the most unholy of pungent monsters. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Be careful in there, stranger. The smell could kill you. The stink from those crates is gone, but in my experience, if you do not cure the sauce, shit returns. My father, Digolas, he's a famous archer, but he never washes. Never. I'm going to confront him. That pox. Mother, I'm going to get father back. I've had enough. Change is in the air. Literally. Useful. 
My arrows are more deadly, covered in shit. No one was complaining during war. My heroic odor will persist. This is what gives me my special powers. God told me, leave me to my ambrosia. Again, my beautiful Degolas. My love, you are finally clean. Our home also. Come here, my love. I can see your skin again. How does it feel to be clean again, Degolas? This clean feeling is strange to me. I was happy as a degenerate mudball. I never worried about these vain ventures. Your desires are not always those of your gods, your family, and your, well, those you lie with. I feel I've sold my war yourself. The grime inspired my bow. My shit arrows would strike fear into my foe's nose. Well, I'm certain your arrows will still fly true. You did not lose your archer skill. Only time will tell. Be well, stranger. Malevolence. This land bears deep affliction. I need your eyes, my friend. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Asserting her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us ill luck. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating. Like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer. 
taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain, a lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor. If a little enthusiastic. And Birna, well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Abel. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. House unburned. This is what they get for helping Rand Strandbridge from Soma. For licking Elderman Whitman's boots. Smell of burning roof thatch and a heady turf fire.
Now that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stand and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga.